guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Um, today we're gonna be doing a day in the life. Uh, I just work on a farm. I mean, we'll see how it goes. I don't even know how it's about to go yet. Um, every day is different, but it is six in the morning, and let's go ahead and work out. I'm gonna go ahead and get our pre-workout. Got too much left in my uh, pre-workout shake, but I'm gonna finish that real fast and we're gonna go ahead and do some push-ups and I might curl, I'll um, curl bar a little bit, but I'm not sure yet. Our vitamins right here. We got um, ashwagandha, and then we got turmeric, curcumin. And I only take the ashwagandha four times a month. And then the turmeric, curcumin, um, like, once every week. But we're going to go ahead and take these. And then we're going to go straight to the workout. My crowbar, not a lot of weight. Like it's a 10 on each side, but we can still use it. And keep in mind, when you work out, it don't matter how much your weight you're lifting all the time. It doesn't matter that much, but it doesn't matter how you do them and what you do with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it around a little bit and then we'll go outside. We'll do one more workout and then we'll go outside because I'm already kind of feeling it and almost that time anyway. So let's go ahead. But remember, there's a 10 right here. There's a 10 right here. I'd say all together, the bar is probably, probably like 30 pounds, all that. So it's not too much. Oh, I mean, take some deep breaths and then. I don't know if this is an actual workout or not, but it feels good in the arms and. Yeah, it's pretty much it. But we'll go ahead and get started. Yeah, we all got sad. Um, yeah. As you can see, it is uh, about 8.30 right now. These the turkeys, the chickens. Um, we got horses and cows out there. And then uh, we're just gonna walk over there and get started. So every single day, um, I don't know if I said this earlier or not, but every single day is just slightly different. But I mean, everything we do is kind of the same. So I have a good idea what we're doing, but not every single thing that I might put in this video. So, um, yeah, let's get started and let's get this barn done, I guess. Guys, as you can see, we're in the barn. Um, my sister is my boss, so she tells me what to do. I just do it. She manages the place, but I just work here. 
on the laborer that is underpaid, son. You don't work 86 hours a day. I know I do, son. But, um, oh, dang. We gotta get hay, son. But, um, these are the only hay bales we have right now. Usually it's like way up here and all that. But anyway, first thing we gotta do is drop some hay out in the hallway. And then, um, um we gotta throw it out, out in the pasture. And then we'll start dumping waters. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Um, oh, Dolly is a life changer, bro. Cause look, a bell, I mean, they're decently heavy, but if you get the dolly, you can stack four on there. And oh, these bells are not light. But you know, um, see y'all in just a second. So we got a bell out here. Yeah, throw it to these guys. Look at this knife I got. This thing freaking nice, son. Got it from Texas when I lived there. Um, like $400, you know. So, cut those strings. And all we do is just throw that over there. Donnie wants to say hi. What's up, Bubba? What's up, Bubba? This guy's giant. Camera don't do it justice at all. See you, Bubba. We just got that horse yesterday. I didn't even see him. Yesterday was my off day. Huh. I don't even know his name. It's cool looking, though. And we got Dixie, Walter, Coda, cows, and more horses out there. But next thing we gotta do is we gotta give hay to this whole aisle to all of these horses and some of them already been there but they need hay so you know down there too these stalls actually don't look too bad hey what are you doing anyhow but um yeah let's go ahead and just start down here and work our way up um well we already got hay he needs hay his stall actually is pretty bad but i don't do stalls i just pick it up dang she makes me mad son <laughs> Archie in that blue coat left here, he kicked that whole wall out the other day. I put it back up. What you looking at, Jazzy? But yeah, let's uh let's go ahead and get that done. Like a paint waters too. Um but that's pretty simple. We can just do it as we're haying. This guy he can dump his water buckets. But now he's got hay. It takes like two seconds to do it. It's a really pretty today. It feels good outside. But let's get back to work, I guess. So, oh, dang. All right. Let's take that out. One hand with a full bucket of water is not easy. So. Go ahead and put this back. I'm gonna buff my hands, but yeah, we'll probably fast forward a few stalls and then if I have anything interesting, I'll probably just pop it up. <laughs> hey, you can't put that little ass dog. But then a fat bitch at a buffet, hey, come on. With all these horses, they drink three sips out of a bucket and dirty them up. So you gotta dump them both. Either they drink nothing. Stupid. Daddy. <laughs> 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 
that easy, old son. Hey, mama. How's it going? We built these stalls right here. We had to take down all these fronts. Real quick, like they did down there. We had to tear all that down. And then we had to tear out these and these. And then um, and put this up. Pretty cool, actually. She's about to have a baby any day now. And we got these really cool locks. I like them a lot. Pretty cool, man. You know, nice. Pretty badass. Anyhow, we'll go and get the tractor. Here's the tractor. This is my sister's tractor, but I'm so thankful that she bought this so we could use it. Um, We bought it from my grandpa's friend, I think. But it's just a little 790. But it does most of the things you need it to. 99% of the time. But uh, um, it's not like that cold outside. But we might get a small cold start. I will show you how to do that too. So, hop up up here. And then just turn the key over one time. And adjust your auto all the way up. And wait 20 seconds. And then um, once that's done, you start it and wait till the needle is between 1200 and 1500 RPM. And then once it sits there for a little bit and idles, then take the uh, idle speed all the way down. And once it goes down to about 800, then you're good to go. All right, here we go. Shut up. got a clutch on it. You just put that thing in reverse. Lift up the bucket a little bit. Good. That's where we dump our manure at. Usually that falls way bigger. That guy came here. Give me reverse, come on. There we go. Don't fall. That might fall low key. Hold on. 40 pound bags. Thought you'd nothing nothing all the time. Two no mamas. This is the last load we got for all the manure. Then we gotta make feed buckets and fill waters, and that's it. Usually this would take way longer, but we got a few helpers today, so we got done pretty dang fast. Um, but uh, we're gonna go get donuts too. I'm super excited. I'm starving and I'm fat. So what you think I am? All right, buddy. So I'll see y'all in a second. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you how to 
shut down the tractor from just sitting here. So you got it in neutral and you're sitting. What you want to do is turn the key and it's off. Could you imagine that? And then release your, your tension and close the lines. And that's your, that's closed. Gotta do that. Cool. Um, yeah, that's it. But, oh my God. All right. So, pretty cool, man. Um, I'm gonna go help make feed buckets real fast. And then, uh, this thing's badass. Watch this shit. All we gotta do is finish all these buckets on this side, and we're done. It's about, um, 1 p.m. right now. Um, we're done with everything and I'm good for the rest of the day but um, yeah that's pretty much it um, pre appreciate y'all watching um, leave a like comment subscribe you know the deal and uh, I definitely got some more videos coming uh, but yeah see y'all later bye